Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. It's Kyle here. Just wanted to say Happy New Year. Uh, hopefully 2021 is a lot better than 2020 was. But uh, yeah, just uh, coming to you with a new video today. We're going to be installing a BD Diesel short shift kit on uh, my 5.9 Cummins. Hopefully clean up a little bit of that shifter slop and, and should be a little bit more defined shift patterns, I guess. So, uh, but uh, yeah, just going to go wash the truck quick and then we'll bring her in the shop and we'll kind of look at how much lever throw there is before and after and then we'll go for a drive and I'll uh, I'll see if I like it and you know give you uh, some feedback on it Bronx come here get in there just rinsed it off because I want to get all the salt off of it it's like plus one or plus two degrees Celsius outside right now so the roads uh, they're just gonna be slop they're gonna be all icy and and watery and stuff so my trucks just gonna get dirty again right away but I just I hate having that salt sit on my paint it's just it's so bad for your for your vehicle So this is what the kit comes with. Again, this is a BD Diesel short shift kit. They make them for the 98 to 2002 five speed, uh, 2000 all the way to 2005 six speed. Um, there's a few different kits there. I'll put a link down in the description to this kit for my 2003 six speed. I have the NV5600 transmission. So it looks like there's kind of this spacer plate with some longer bolts. And then this, uh, I'm assuming this is just kind of a different angle for the lower uh, shifter. So, uh, and then of course some gasket maker to stick it all back on the tranny. So just kind of look at what it's like before. It's in neutral here. This is third, now fourth, back to third, fourth. If I have it in fourth gear right there, if we just kind of measure to the shifter from this, uh, my cushion here, it's about three and a half inches, something like that. I don't know. I'm excited to see what it's going to be like when it's done. This isn't that sloppy and it's not that hard to find gears, but I just feel like it will be a little bit like I did read some reviews and guys seem to really like it saying it's a lot easier to find the, the gear channels. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start pulling this apart and I've never installed a short shift kit before, so I don't really know what it's all going to entail, but it can't be that difficult. But yeah, I'm just going to kind of pop these covers out. There should be some screws and we'll remove this whole uh, cup holder thing out and we should be able to get down to the, the shifter base. Okay, I kind of just took this all out in one piece. Underneath here, there's just a nut you loosen, and then you can just kind of get your hand up here and twist it, and twist this uh, shifter right off. Looks like there's a bunch of eight millimeter bolts here. Take them off, and then we can pop this cover off, and then we should be able to see what we need to get at. There we go. It said to mark this all just for reinstallation. I don't know how much it matters, but I did just mark it there. But uh, yeah, and you can pull it off just like that. And this is what we're gonna be modifying and changing out. There is inside the transmission. Pretty nice. Looks like my oil is still a decent color down in there. I can kind of see it. This is actually a good point. This would be a good time to change your oil or if you want to add more, you could add it right now because you could just fill in right from the top. Because a lot of people want to add more than the recommended oil. Like it, it only calls for X amount of oil, but a lot of guys like to overfill it a bit because they say it's better, but it's hard to overfill it because um, there's no hole for it. So you got to like fill in the PTO cover or something like that. But uh, this would be a good time to add some oil to it or do a oil change on it, just FYI. All right, so I've kind of disassembled this. Looks like we got to transfer uh, these kind of guides over onto those and pop that thing over and then uh, start putting it back together with this new plate. All right, this is the new short shifter in here. This was super easy to install on my truck. It looks like if you have a five speed 
then there's a little bit more work with kind of drilling some kind of uh, pin out or I don't know something like that but uh, we didn't have to do that with this one now we're just gonna put some silicone on either side of this put this ice layer back on kind of stack it all together like that comes with some longer bolts and we'll go just bolt it back onto the transmission all right and there it is just gonna put this cover back on and you know put the cup holders in all that stuff and uh, we'll see what kind of difference it made all right so it's back together and just already wow it just feels so much different so much more defined but uh this is driving me nuts just the way that this spun onto this new uh, shift lever down there we need to pry this out move this knob a bit or just move this cap whatever just because those numbers are all upside down and stuff so i'm just going to pop this cap out recenter it and uh then we'll test her out you know i should have known better because these caps are always such a pain in the ass to get out and look at this i just mangled my shifter this doesn't even want to go back into place now you know it's just such a poor design getting this thing out in my opinion i've never had good success popping these things out without wrecking these but uh i'm just gonna say screw it i'm not even gonna put this back in because i already ordered um a hearst shifter so whatever we're just gonna leave it like that for now my new one should be here soon anyways i'll put it on then but for now i'll just leave it like this so i don't have to pop it out when i pull this nut off okay but aside from this bs uh, i also want to check this measurement here so if i put it in fourth gear like that where are we at we're at like five and a half inches i think when we originally did it, it was at four and a half inches distance so it's actually an inch less to travel and just like moving it around like this I can definitely notice it. So we're gonna take it for a drive and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on what it feels like. So I have a South Bend dual disc clutch in here. So it kind of takes a while for the shifter to fall into gear as you can kind of see with my hand there. Um, so I wouldn't say that this makes it shift faster, but uh, wow, does it make it feel better. Like just the, the gear passages are so well defined. It's like, it would be very hard to miss a shift, you know? Before it would be a little bit easier to miss a shift because they're kind of a little bit sloppy, but here it's really nice. Now, if I try to downshift, yeah, it just, it just feels really good. Everything about it feels really good. driving it for about half an hour um, I, I really do like it uh, so if any of you guys are interested in buying this I'll put a link down below but the only thing I would say about this is that it's not really gonna make you shift faster but it's gonna make your shifts a lot cleaner um, it's it, those passages to to the gears just are, are right there you know it's it's you're not kind of trying to find that that slot it's just you find it right now and it's very defined so um and and the, the lever throw is is way less so you know if you have a drink down your cup holder you know sometimes your shifter's kind of hitting that and bumping into your drink and stuff this this is going to help with that so uh i'm definitely very pumped i got this so uh yeah that's that's pretty much it for the video guys so thank you guys for watching if you got questions ask in the comments uh or shoot me a message on instagram at dark iron diesel uh let me know in the comments something else that you want to see i'm always looking for new video ideas so if you want me to make a video of something uh let me know but uh yeah again guys uh thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video